Good morning, fifth grade. This is Tuesday, April the 7th, and I want to go over the writing assignment today for you. So if you could get your English books out and open up to page 411. Go ahead and pause me while you get that ready. Okay. All right, you're back, and looking at page 411, we have already talked about the top part of that page, which is about the introduction. You've already done that. So now we're on the conclusion, the very end, the last paragraph of your essay. We're going to briefly talk about it. We want it to be a strong conclusion that is basically restating your points briefly, and then a call to action at the end. And the call to action means that one final time that you tell your audience what you want them to do. And you do it in a creative way, kind of a, uh, I always like to say it's like the, the bow on a package. It's like the final, last, perfect touch to a paper. Let's look at their examples for a weak conclusion and a strong conclusion. And this is regarding uh, kids should wear uniforms to school. Okay, the weak way, a weak way to make a conclusion would be Wearing uniforms makes our school look modern. Blue would be the best color. Okay, so uh, there's no call to action. They didn't restate their points. It's, it's pretty weak. We don't know what they want us to do. Okay, let's look at the strong conclusion example. Having uniforms would help us to show unity when competing in sports and in academics. Uniforms can also express our sense of style. So they've restated their main thoughts, their, their points, their reasons. And here's their call to action. Choose uniforms for our school today. So that's what they want someone to do, to make that choice that uniforms are better for students to wear. Okay, so now I want you to work on your conclusion, make it a strong one, restate your points, end with a call to action. What is it that you want your audience to do? Okay, all right. I submit this um, by tomorrow morning at eight o'clock and then attach Attach it to the rest of your paper, your intro, and your body. Now you've got your conclusion on it. That'll be the whole thing. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.